everyone, I'm Davy Killian, and in today's video, I am sharing with you my nursery tour. I am 40 weeks pregnant and five days when this video goes up, and this is quite a highly requested video from you, my subscribers. I wanted to show you my simple decor, thrifted decor, and hand-me-down items that I'm using to make this very homey and sweet for when our little girl comes home. And also, I wanted to share with you how I still am currently using it as a guest room, at least for the first couple weeks. We have a queen bed in here. But if you are new to my channel, I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking. And then, of course, going to be some motherhood videos. So I'd love to have you hit that big red subscribe button, as well as give this video a thumbs up. So I'm going to jump right in and show you. I do apologize for the lighting. We are currently in a blizzard watch right now, and I could go into labor at any time. So this is quite interesting, but I wanted to get this video up for you as well. So let's jump right in. As you enter our little girl's nursery, this chalkboard was here from the previous owners, and we have not told anyone our little girl's name yet because she is currently late right now. I am 40 weeks and three days pregnant, so I'm getting this filmed for you, but here is her little nursery. We have a thrifted rug right there. It is pretty soft. Um, it's more cream than white, but I got two rugs for two bucks, so that was awesome. And then the crib my parents bought for us off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box and it turned into a toddler bed as well. This is a gifted blanket from a friend who made it. Thank you everyone who made so many blankets for us. We're excited to be able to use them all. And of course, baby won't be in here right away. So I just have a pillow. And this is another little gift from a subscriber. And then a gift from a church friend. And then up here is a macrame hanging. You may have seen it in my house before, but I thought this looked so cute. It tied in the cream on the rug as well. But my sister or cousin-in-law makes these. And she's on Instagram at Strand of Thought. So go check her out. And then over here, this shelf was from my sister. She didn't want it anymore. And yes, it is very shadowy. <laughs> I got this Love You to the Moon clip frame from a church lady as well. I just thought I'd throw in some greenery with some milk glass as well. Just for fun of color. That is a faux plant right there. The basket I got off a of hauler. Right now it just has hair clip in it. <laughs> we'll see what else we add into it. This little box has all the cards I got from showers and such. And another gift of Mary Had a Little Lamb Puppet, actually. It's super fun. And then just some books down at the bottom. And this was a gift from my husband, this vase, when he went to Paraguay. And then the basket on the bottom is from Holler. With just a ton of little toys in there. So lots of gifted toys, which is amazing. Oh, another handmade little gifted bear from a subscriber. Um, yeah, just some... Just some fun little toys in there for her to have when she gets a tad older. I swing my way around to the other side of the room. This is the guest bed that I'm leaving in here because my mom is coming to stay with us after a baby arrives. So I just left it in here and honestly it fits well. And after my mom leaves, this actually may be a great place to nurse in the middle of the night since I do live right across or my bedroom is right across the hall or my husband in my bedroom. I did get these hat boxes free. They're just kind of being used as the nightstand right now. And it pulls in the pop of pink for our little girl's room. Another handmade blanket. Um, just a wicker thrifted trash can. And this is my favorite piece. We found it also off of Facebook Market. And it is supposed to look a little beat up. And it is so adorable. It was $50. So a nice little find. And it's so cute. I hope to make it into the dressing table. I currently do not have a changing pad, so it is not at this moment. But oh, the handles are adorable with a little rhinestone and then almost like a rope um, look there and very rustic and that's what I like. Um, all right, and then up on the top here, thrifted lamp that I spray painted, thrifted dollar basket with her 
um, wipes and we are using cloth diapers however with the myconium um, initially we want to use disposable these were from the same subscriber who made those handmade little toys that I showed you and then up here I put a crate and that same subscriber made this cute little dress garland so adorable I'm not sure if that's where I want to keep it but I do want it hung in here so a crate with a frame um, that was gifted to me of the shower, coconut oil, then some diaper rash ointment, and right here is baby massage oil. So I do like to use essential oils and we'll use some on baby when they're safe. And then a thrifted mirror I spray painted as well. Then the closet, I took the curtains, or took the doors down because I really did not like them, and just put up a pair of white curtains because it's actually relatively organized right now um, just don't need to show you that but those are from Walmart if I find them I'll put them in the description box and then right before the light this was a thrifted frame or thrifted picture it says praise God from whom all blessings flow well thanks everyone for watching don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it and also, I would love your thoughts and prayers as we go into having our baby soon and um, bringing her home. So I appreciate you watching this video and supporting my YouTube community. With that, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. And I will be talking with you in my next video whenever that comes out. Bye.